a mother and daughter. Mm -hmm. I believe she was 14. The drugs simply gave him the courage. The desire is still there. You didn't tell me your brother was a hot shot solicitor, Conrad. Can we save it for the tape? Only making polite conversation. Ready. Taped interview with Conrad James. Officers in attendance, PC Taverner. And PC Hollis. Also present, Abraham James. Conrad James, you've been arrested on suspicion of burglary and possession of Class B drugs. You do not have to say anything. But it may harm your defence if you fail to mention when questioned something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand the charges against you? I understand what you're accusing me of, yeah. We've met before, haven't we, Conrad? Yeah. Do you want to tell your brother where? Officer Tavner, I'm here as Conrad's solicitor, not his sibling. I'd appreciate it if you referred to me as such. Do you want to tell your solicitor where? Back Holt Road. Whereabouts? Near the chemist. You mean Kapoor's farm, is it? Yeah. And when was this? A couple of days ago. The same day that the chemist was broken into. The same day that a young woman was brutally attacked and sexually assaulted. I thought we were here to talk about a burglary. We are. You say you saw my client on the day of the burglary, but did you actually see him break in? No. Presumably you stopped and searched him? Yes. Obviously you didn't find anything because my client was not charged with any offences at the time. I saw your client come out from the back of the chemist, a private property, a place where he had no right to be. Uh, for the benefit of the tape, Mr. James has just looked at his client for confirmation of the statement that was just made by PC Tavener. Conrad James uh, then nodded his head. I was caught short and needed a pee. So you said. But did you need to go and relieve yourself an hour or so later? It seems to me, PC Tavener, you've jumped a the gun. Then why did young Conrad give us a false address? In fact, the only reason we have been unable to conduct a Section 18 search is that Conrad still refuses to provide a home address. I told them we lived at Manly Road. Why did you do that? Look, I had a bit to drink and I didn't want Mum and Dad to find out. My parents don't approve of alcohol. <laughs> <clears throat> and do they approve of these? I found young Conrad trying to flush them down the toilet. Let me see those. What do you think these are? I think it's quite obvious what they are. You haven't told them, have you? Just for the benefit of the tape, Mr. Sh Conrad has benign focal epilepsy. These are prescription drugs. Wouldn't look good, would it? Young black epileptic student victimized by white racist cops. I'm not saying that's the way it is, simply that's the way it may be perceived. Now, do you still wish to carry out a search of the home address? Here we are, ladies, safe and sound. Thank you, Sergeant. Aren't you going to walk us up? Of course he will. In fact, he must come in for a cup of tea and tell us all about the boyfriend. Lenny, your probation officer's here. When can I see her? Finish your food first. She's waiting in the interview room. I'm ready now. Come on, then. What's the matter, Lenny? Not enjoying your grub? I bet about. What do you expect this time of night? Straight through here. Oh, Sarge, uh, when you're ready, we're releasing Mr. James Penn in further inquiries. You are a disgrace. Hey! Can you hold, please, caller? You can't come in here shooting your mouth off. Sorry, right, Vicky. Because of you, a rapist is about to walk free. What are you talking about? Conrad James, that's what I'm talking Either about. Either you leave. Or what? You make me. Well, I hope you better had a rest and restraint than you are at driving. What's going on? It's all right, Sarge. It's nothing. <sighs> Too many bleeding hearts in this job. That's what's wrong. Are you upsetting my operators? He was just leaving. Hello, Lenny. I've let you down. You didn't do the things they said you did. I've lied to these people. Tell me you did those things. I need to talk. Come on. 
Now you mind, the patties are very hot. The cornbread is best on its own, and the ginger cake is nice with a slab of butter. Yeah, I'll remember that. Not margarine, mind. Good night, Mrs. Shaw. Good night, Sergeant. You can come by and arrest me again any time. I've never had such a laugh. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, Sergeant. So why are you so convinced it's Conrad? The little man. You sure it's not indigestion? I'm sure he wasn't having a crap in that toilet, and I'm sure he wasn't taking a leak either. Yeah, but the drugs were a prescription. You can't argue with that. The pills were, yeah, but maybe he was flushing something else down the toilet. Well, in that case, we should be doing a home search. Oh, what's the point? We wouldn't find anything. They wouldn't have offered it up otherwise. There isn't that a possibility. And what's that? Maybe you're wrong. Urgent assistance required. Ten support. Urgent assistance required. Sarge, you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> Looks like the Jamaican patties have had it though, eh? on the night that Lynn Roberts was attacked. I was with a woman. Your girlfriend, Jill? No, another woman, other than my girlfriend. You expect us to believe that? It's true. Hardly original. I'm sorry, I don't buy that. Jill's a woman of the world. She knows you. She knows you've got to be unfaithful. It's not sex. It wasn't a sexual thing. Don't tell me this other woman happens to be married. It's true. And you were just trying to protect her identity. It's not as simple as that. There's more to it. Our husband knows all about us. But she doesn't know. She don't know I'm in love with her. <laughs> Lenny, you're in danger of making us throw up, mate. So who is this woman? Me. What's happening then? Parked in someone else's face. Oh, yeah, you're right there. You should see the ginger cake. Well, I don't think you're allowed to say ginger. Well, you obviously don't need us. Yeah, you missed all the fun. Uh, Sierra Oscar from 3 3 receiving. Jim, off you go. Go ahead, 3 3. That's a cancellation on all remaining units for the Jasmine Alley. Looks like Des has got Thank one of them. Three, three. Well, this little shoulder hanging and gloves in the, in the rubbish. It says it all, really. I've got a present for you, Sarge. In fact, two. Looks like a small one you got there, Des. Looks like you got.